Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As a member of the House Veterans Affairs Committee, I'm honored to join with my colleagues from that committee to mark the 70th anniversary of D-Day. Nevada's heroes have played a critical role in our country's armed services throughout history, from the Air Force pilots that have been deployed from Nellis Air Force Base to our National Guard's 1st Squadron, 221st Cavalry Division that has served in Iraq and Afghanistan. For generations, our democracy has been defended by those who have given so much. Now, next week marks the 70th anniversary of the invasion of Normandy. At no other time in history has an amphibious assault occurred on that scale. On June the 6th, 1944, 156,000 Allied troops landed on the beaches of Normandy, knowing that they may not survive, and many didn't. They were bombarded by bullets and shells and bombs, but without hesitation, they marched on. And in that one day, the United States lost 6,603 brave soldiers. Nevada Senator Howard Cannon was one of the American heroes who risked his life on that fateful day. He piloted the chief troop carrier airplane, leading 44 others from Exeter, England, across the English Channel to France. In the middle of a hot June night at 11.50 p.m. on June 5th, he took off. The plane departed the Storia Hora, carrying paratroopers who jumped into France just a little while later. A few days after that, on June 17th, Senator Cannon was shot down over the Netherlands and survived 42 days behind enemy lines. He is one of the heroes whose story is told in the book and movie, A Bridge Too Far. I'm fortunate that I was able to serve as Senator Cannon's faculty intern here in 1982, and every day in my district office, I have the unique privilege of sitting behind Senator Cannon's desk. It's a constant reminder of the many different forms that heroism takes. From the foot soldier at Normandy struggling against the waves to gain the beach, to the switch operator back in the United States ensuring that the communications went through. From the admirals to the pri privates, from the artillerymen to the spies, there were many heroes who showed up on that day that changed history. Now, these brave men and women have been called the greatest generation by Tom Brokaw for a reason. Like many of you, I have family members who fought in World War II, an uncle, a father-in-law, two of my husband's uncles. Their valor and courage stand as an example to all of us as we continue to battle injustice today. So to all of those who risk their lives on those beaches in Normandy and beyond, and to the families of those who perished on those foreign shores fighting for democracy and freedom, I say a heartfelt thank you. And our grateful nation owes you a debt that it can never repay. Thank you. And I